How's it going everyone? This is going to be the last flea market video I'll be making for a few weeks as I will be going on vacation in a couple days. So yeah, that's a thing. Also, this probably will be a shorter video because I'll only be recording one week's worth of footage instead of the usual two weeks. But we shall see when I get down to the editing process. These signs would be cool if they weren't made out of the thinnest, cheapest tin possible. Maybe if they were thicker or more durable, they'd be nice to own, but these feel so fragile. I don't even think it would take that much force at all to damage them. What? It's Conan with Arnold, though. But it's brand new and sealed, Dad. Remember last week when I was talking about that guy who bought all those NES games for the ridiculously low price of $40? Well, he's back. And just from following him around for a good while, I have a very, very hard time believing he's a collector at all. If he truly is, then good god, is he one of the dumbest collectors I've ever seen. I'd be willing to bet he's just a reseller because the guy doesn't even look at what he's buying. He'll glance real quick at what's on the table, and if it's cheap enough price or if the seller accepts his horrible lowball offers, then he'll grab them. He doesn't even open the cases to see if the actual games are inside. Which, not opening cases, is one of the fucking stupidest things you could do at a flea market. Why? Because shit like this happens. Believe me when I say this happens a good 30, maybe 40% of the time, depending on who's selling. I've passed on some incredibly rare games before because what was inside was not correct. That, or there weren't even any games inside the fucking cases, or even worse, the games themselves were scratched up so bad, there'd be no possible way that one of those resurfacing machines could even repair them. The guy's also a bit of an asshole too, I witnessed him pick up a couple box Genesis games which include a couple Sonics, Altered Beast, and some other things, and he asked the price of them. The guy said they were all $5 a piece. He threw them down loudly and walked away without saying a word. You could have at least put them down nicely and said no thanks, but no, he went the dick way about it. Yay, now I have to compete with a more than likely reseller who's just an absolute idiot. <sighs> oh well, I guess this sort of thing had to happen at some point. Whatever, life goes on. <clears throat> One of my regulars is back with pretty much the same old stuff he has all the time. Although he hasn't finished putting everything on the table, so I'll come back a little bit later and see what he has. Jesus Christ, what was there, a three-for-one deal on storage lockers or something? Seriously, look at all this stuff. Better yet, look at all the people here. It's like flies on shit, as Dad and I say. Pretty much literal shit, too, because everything in these boxes was stuff you'd be better off donating at a Salvation Army or a Goodwill. I probably spent five or ten minutes looking around at all the DVDs and Blu-rays, but nothing really caught my eye. Yeah, they were cheap as hell, but still, there was nothing I absolutely had to have. I probably did miss something I would have wanted. Eh, not that it's a big deal, though. There was a ton of bikes here today for whatever reason, including these somewhat maybe motorcycle bicycle things. I have no idea what these are called, but they look like regular bikes, except with small engines on them. Oh, and they want three grand per bike. I don't know who in their right state of mind is walking around with three thousand fucking dollars at a flea market, but I sure as hell wouldn't be. Lionel Thomas a tank engine? Everything's high end. So they say. See, I would have killed for that if I was a kid, not so much now. Sorry, 5200. What? Interesting. Oh. Mm. What do you know? Mm hmm. 
faked you out. And it kind of pissed me off, too. I've searched through this guy's stuff before, kind of seeing if he brought anything new this time around, which he didn't. The only Genesis game I'm actively hunting for is Gain Ground because it's my favorite for the system, but I've yet to ever come across it. Maybe one day. Alright, so I'm back at my regular guy who didn't bring out all that much stuff, but these were the new games he had this time around. I grabbed that over G Fighters and Project Gotham Racing for five bucks, which I thought was a decent price. Not the one I looked at. <clears throat> Even that one's kind of cool. Just with the, uh, I never get great footage of the stuff Dad looks at, and because of that, I'll be taking pictures of most of the things he buys, and I'll include them in the slideshow portion of the video towards the end. Sorry, it's not super easy to record off a phone, and I'm not spending a hundred plus dollars on camera glasses. I highly doubt I'll be including any of the average sold on eBay prices, which I would normally include on the stuff I buy, but still, you get to see what he bought better due to not being able to capture it well on video. We've actually bought one of these a few years ago, but it was in pretty crap shape, and we ended up selling it at a garage sale. However, this one is in excellent condition and has the original packaging. It's only 10 bucks. I don't think we could ever pass up a good deal like that. Well, I'll be straightforward. The first flea market sucked. Well, for me at least, so now we're on to the second. I completely missed that babysitting mama game for the Wii. I was too busy looking at that Skylander shit I want nothing to do with. I have no idea if these are real or fake North Face jackets. They were only 10 bucks, and I'm slightly kicking myself for not buying one. I guess it doesn't really matter in the end because these guys are here almost every single week. My regular at the second flea market has a couple new games. You can't see good because I angled the camera like shit. But I grabbed that Destroy All Humans and Black Ops 2 for the 360. Yeah, I own Black Ops 2 for the PS3, but I don't know, it's one of the better Call of Duties out there, despite the campaign being one of the worst, in my opinion, of course. This is that one guy who changes his price based off how he feels or how you look. I mentioned him in a couple episodes ago. I guess he was generous today since he only wanted $3 per game. I picked up a few things like Twisted Metal Black, but nothing super great. Those both work. What's your best you can do on this? Uh, $7. Oh, okay. Oh, Thank it. you. Once I hear that voice. What do you want to pay? <laughs> Once I hear that voice. I yeah, know you right know. Spot. I don't know. I see them all the time, and I normally see them for under five. Oh God, no, oh, no, no way. I, okay. I throw them on eBay at twenty. She, and right, I, don't I like, know. No, I haven't got time for eBay. She's right, stuff during the winter. Oh, there right. she is. But they bring twenty on eBay. Did. I know exactly. Yeah, I know exactly I know. how much they go for. She, you didn't. Oh. This thing. Well, he's right, they do sell for around 20 on eBay, but I do come across these things all the goddamn time for cheaper than what he's asking for, so I don't see why I should buy this from him. Yeah, look at this. The deluxe bowl of Matic. That is. Yeah. Yeah, it's still cool to see, you know? It's obviously all fucked up, but yeah, but you can you can redo this. Well, you could just make it yourself. This it's is just this is part. just this is just an eighth inch thick piece of plywood. You can redo this yourself and paint it. That wouldn't be that difficult. Cass could probably repaint it, but I, you know, I think it's gonna be too much anyway. Oh yeah, plus it's all work. Yeah. Thank you. Don't spill. Don't spill. I can do 15. Oh, okay. they, on eBay, I know they go for upwards of 75. Do they really? Then why the fuck are you trying to sell it for 15 at a flea market? That makes absolutely no sense at all. You'd rather sell something for 15 bucks rather than what you claim it goes for on eBay at the price of 70? 
No, I think you're full of shit. I don't think I'll be buying that much stuff from the guy I used to call $5 seller anymore. He's skyrocketed on his prices for everything, even if they're super common games you can find anywhere else for a couple bucks. Unless he has something so special, I'm not even going to bother anymore. That about wraps it up, everyone. Obviously, I didn't get anywhere near the caliber of awesome stuff like I did last week, although how could I have, you know what I mean? Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs>